Buying a home can be expensive, but San Antonio and Texas for that matter are known for being affordable places to live. So today we're going to be taking a look at the top five most affordable suburbs around San Antonio, Texas and the surrounding areas. So let's go ahead and take a dive on in. Hey y'all, if you're brand new to the channel and you want to know everything there is about living here in San Antonio, Texas, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and tap that bell icon so that you'll be the first to learn about the current market here in San Antonio, Texas. My name is Brock and I'm getting phone calls, texts and emails all of the time for folks just like you who are looking to move to San Antonio and I just just love when that happens. So whether you're moving in the next seven days or maybe the next seven months, please don't hesitate to give me a phone call, shoot me over a text, send me an email. I would say send me a smoke signal, but I probably won't see those, but uh, do whatever it takes to get in contact with me and I'd be more than happy to help you and your family make a smooth move to San Antonio, Texas. So diving into our list here, we are going to be taking a look at five different suburbs around the San Antonio, Texas area. And these are all deemed to be the most affordable places in the area to live according to niche.com. So we'll take a look at these web pages together and we're going to start here with our number five spot, which is Seguin, Texas. So let's take a look. All right. So as we can see, Seguin here is rated um, with an overall grade of a B minus by niche.com. They have a lot of, you know, sources and ways to calculate these grades here. Um, but you can see, you know, public schools are rated as a B minus, housing B minus, good for families B minus, A minus for jobs as well. Cost of living though is a B plus. Um, and I'll let you kind of look at some of those other things here. But Seguin, um, Texas as a whole is an area that's been seeing a lot of growth over the last, you know, three to five years. A lot of home builders, a lot of people have been moving out to Seguin to kind of escape uh, New Braunfels, which is nearby, as well as San Antonio to kind of have a, a slower, more relaxed pace of life. Uh, it's more of a blue collar town here. There's not any major job industries here, but there are jobs available, of course, as you can see, uh, A minus job rating there from niche.com, but it's you know located just northwest of San Antonio. You're probably about a 45 minute drive or so from downtown San Antonio. You're also maybe about 25 to 30 minutes from downtown New Braunfels, and then probably closer to an hour if you're looking to get up to Austin. So it's very well centrally located. It's got all of the major highways nearby, um, and it's just overall a pretty good spot to be if you're trying to be close to things, but also have your own kind of peace and quiet at the same time. Now, again, it is rapidly growing, but we can see that the population here is about 30,318. Uh, um, so it's still a pretty good sized small town. And, you know, continuing down here, you know, the median home value here is $190,600, which compared to the median price of a home in San Antonio, it's not quite half, but it's a little bit above half of San Antonio's, you know, median home value. Uh, San Antonio, for reference, is about three hundred and thirty thousand dollars on the median home value. So you can see that's a pretty big gap there. Also, the rent in um, Seguin here is just over a thousand dollars a month, uh, whereas San Antonio, you're, you're looking probably about fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars a month. So not a huge difference there, but it does add up, right? So um, it, that is good to see here. Um, you also see that most people in, you know. Seguin here do own their home at about 64% rate there. So that's always good to see. But like, let's take a look into Seguin too, like where, you know, I mentioned it's close to San Antonio, New Braunfels and Austin, but like, what do these areas look like? Let me zoom out here a little bit. So you can see Seguin is that little red area there. Again, it's probably about 45 minutes or so to downtown San Antonio. New Braunfels is kind of right here behind this Seguin uh, tag that it's got there. And again, that's 25 to 30 minutes. And then if you take, you know, uh, highway 130 up to Austin, um, you can actually get there in about 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, I believe 130 is the toll road there, so you can actually go a little bit faster with the higher speed limits that they've got there. So as you can see here, Seguin does have the Guadalupe River that runs partly through it. Um, so there's, you know, the river here. There's also Lake McQueenie on the west side of Seguin here as well. So there's a lot of, you know, homes right here on the lake. Um, lots of people will enjoy that kind of area. Um, but there's a lot of growth when it comes to new construction kind of here on the northern ends of Seguin. So that's kind of, you know, Seguin as a whole as it stands right now. And if you're looking for some of these homes for sale, I do have a couple of home tours already on the channel there of a couple of the builders um, in the area. So if you want to go check those out, they are above the median price point, but they are there if you wanted to view it. Now, uh, Seguin here um, is ranked number 80 out of 418 as a diverse, one of the most diverse suburbs in Texas. 
also um, pretty high up there on the list for the best suburbs for young professionals in Texas. So, and it's also number 181 out of 418 for the lowest cost of living in Texas now. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, I won't get into so much of the crime and safety, but I'll have a link to you know this here in the description for you. Um, so you can see this and all the other areas that we're gonna look at, but you can also kind of just see some of the uh, diversity of the residents as well. So as you can see here in Seguin, again, it is rated A minus on the jobs. Um, it's more of a blue collar town again, so there's not a whole lot of you know major industry jobs here, but there is enough again for you to enjoy. Um, but the median household income is a little bit lower than the national average at 58,000. So, but overall, Seguin is a very quiet area for now at least. It's been growing very rapidly again over the last couple of years. So uh, I expect it to not be so quiet in the distant future, um, but it is there at the moment and a, a, just a great place to live. So now number two on our list is Kirby. Texas, which is another suburb here of San Antonio, Texas, but it's actually been engulfed by the city of San Antonio. So let's scroll on down to the map real quick to kind of show you what it is. It's a very small area of town um, uh, in San Antonio. So there's not a whole lot to it, but you can see it's very well, you know, centrally located. You're maybe 15 to 20 minutes to downtown San Antonio. You've got Fort Sam Houston located very close by. You've got access to two, three of the major highways here, as well as Randolph Air Force Base. So you've got a lot really close by. You're only maybe 15 to 20 minutes from the San Antonio International Airport as well. And there's just a lot of things here by. Again, you can see how close uh, or how small rather it is. It doesn't have a whole lot to it um, in, in all honesty, but um, let's take a look at some of the other information about it, right? So um, overall it's rated as a B minus by niche.com and the cost of living is an A minus. It's you know up there on the low cost of living. Overall, all the stuff that you see here that it's rated for, it's gonna be very good um, in the sense that you have access to all of the job industries and job markets that San Antonio has available for. It's just the folks that live here in Kirby. Um, but the population as a whole is pretty small. It's just over 8,000 people here in Kirby proper. Um, the median home value is $144,300. So it is quite considerably lower, uh, less than half that of San Antonio. So um, it is pretty low. The median rent is also just over $1,000. So that's you know, some good savings there if you're looking to rent. Now here are the rankings for Kirby when it comes to the suburbs in Texas. Um, it's ranked number 98 out of 418 for the most diverse. It's also ranked number 141 for the lowest cost of living out of all of Texas and number 255 of 1032 for the most diverse places to live in Texas now. Let's take this part of the Kirby rankings out. Now here's a little snapshot of the crime and safety reports according to niche.com. Um, also, here's a little bit about the residents. There's a lot more information here. Again, there's going to be a link to all of this down in the description for you to look at. Working here in Kirby, the, the median household is, you know, almost 59,000. So it's a, um, it's still pretty good, but it is a little bit lower than the national average of 75,000. So let's take a quick look here at some of the homes for sale. I do not have any videos at the time of homes for sale in Kirby. Most of the homes on my channel um, feature um, new construction and there's no new construction happening in Kirby. So the homes here are a little bit older of age, but you can kind of see by this example here um, that it's still a pretty nice home. This one's got five bedrooms. Oops, didn't mean to do that. You know, this one's listed just under 300,000 and it's got five bedrooms, two and a half baths, just under 2,300 square feet. But um, this is kind of an idea of what one looks like here in the Kirby area. And this one here might be a little bit more realistic of what a home in Kirby would look like. I mean, again, it is older, so it's, you know, this one was built in 1969. So again, it is older. It's got the single car garage. It might be a little dated, might need a little bit of TLC, but overall it seems pretty well maintained and it looks like it's got an indoor pool. I mean, how many homes? Uh, I, don't, I don't think I've seen too many homes with indoor pools. So that's actually kind of interesting and cool to see. But yeah, I mean, this one looks like it's in great condition, even though it is a little older, maybe a little dated, but still 193,500, it's way less than, you know, the, the average price in San Antonio of like 370. So yeah, that's kind of 
you know, a good idea with those two homes there, what it may look like in Kirby. So let's move on to the next neighborhood here, which is going to be Marion, Texas. Now, Marion, uh, it's on the northeast side of San Antonio. Um, it's kind of close to Shirts in Cibolo, Texas. So let's take a quick look at the maps so you can see where it's located in relation to San Antonio. So we looked at Seguin already over here to the east. We looked at Kirby further east and closer to San Antonio, but here's Marion. Um, from my experience with Marion, it seems to be a little bit more of kind of an area where people will go and have horse ranches and stuff like that. I've seen a lot of folks with horses uh, live in Marion and the surrounding areas as there's still some undeveloped land out there to enjoy, but you can see that's close to Cibolo Shirts. Here's Randolph Air Force Base. And um, to get to San Antonio, you're you know, probably about 25 minutes or so to downtown San Antonio, um, 25 minutes or so to the airport. And, you know, you've got a ton of shopping and food, especially right here at this intersection of, you know, Interstate 35 and Loop 1604. So there's a ton of stuff available, um, lots of great stuff uh, nearby for those people living in Marion. Now, let's take a look at some of the numbers. Marion is a very small place. It's a very small suburb here with just over a thousand people that live uh, in Marion. The Median home value is 121,200, so that is the lowest we've seen so far. However, their rent is pretty high. It's the highest we've seen so far on this list at just over $1,200 a month. But again, you're closer to Cibolo and Shirts, which are a little bit higher cost areas uh, because they're very well desired due to those schools in there. We'll talk about those in another video. But here in Marion, 67% of the residents own a home, which is good to see. Now, what do homes in Marion typically look like? Well. Um, I don't know that these are gonna be super great uh, depictions, but let's take a look. Um, this one here, of course, is a much older home, but it looks like it's very well maintained and you know taken care of on the inside here. Um, it looks very nice, especially for its age there. But as you can see here in this picture, it's got a little bit more land than maybe some of the more popular suburbs. Let's see. And here's an, an example of a home. This one looks a lot newer um, than the last one we just saw. So yeah, this is a much newer home. In fact, it is a brand new house that was built here in 2023. So, but yeah, that's kind of a good picture of Marion. Again, I don't have any videos of Marion homes specifically um, on the list, but it's going to be very similar to a lot of the homes that you see in shirts, Cibolo, maybe Converse areas as well as when it comes to style and stuff like that. Now, here's some of the rankings of Marion. It's number 42 for the best suburbs to buy a house in Texas. That's the first time we've seen that on the list today. So it seems like a lot of people like to buy a house here in Marion, according to those rankings. Here's a quick overview of the crime and safety, which doesn't have a ranking. A little bit about the residents. And then the median household income here in Marion is just over um, $63,000, which is not much lower than the national average. And I think the highest we've seen so far on this list. So we didn't take a look at this at the beginning of the Marion section here, but overall it's got a, a rating of a B minus by niche.com. So uh, pretty good. It's got A minus for cost of living. It's got A minus for housing, B for public schools, B minus for good for families, um, all, all the fun stuff there. You can take a look at that. Um, but it, again, it is just a small, very small area um, just on the northeast side of San Antonio. All right, now taking a look at the number two suburb here on our list today. This is actually the suburb of McQueenie, which is right next to Seguin. So everything about Seguin uh, when it comes to amenities and jobs and all that fun stuff is going to be very relatable to McQueenie here. It is a small town. Again, I talked about McQueenie Lake, so that's how that, that lake got its name. Um, but it is that small suburb there. Let's take a look at the map. Um, as you can see, it is just a very small area. Here's Seguin for reference. So again, it is you know close to San Antonio, Austin, and New Braunfels. Um, there you can see New Braunfels is right there. You've got Randolph Air Force Base. Um, we just talked about Marion. So all these areas so far are pretty close together. And um, there's really not a whole lot here in McQueenie other than the lake that's happening. Um, but it is a nice, quiet kind of area um, that is experiencing some growth just as all of the New Braunfels residents have been moving out towards, you know, Seguin and Marion. So let's take a look at some of the data here. So overall it's rated a B by uh, niche.com. Here's kind of some of the ratings that it gives in different categories there. It's got an A minus for the cost of living, an A for the jobs, B minus for good for families, and an A for housing as well as all of these other things here. It's got a population of 2,371 people. So again, it is a very small suburb. Uh, it doesn't have a whole lot of growth that's been happening other than 
the people who have lived in New Braunfels for a while that have been migrating a little bit east to get away from New Braunfels, the average median home value is $207,900, and then the median rent is $1,184. And here you can see that a majority, almost all of the people who live in Marion own their house. Now scrolling down here, we looked at the map. Let's take a look at a couple of the homes for sale. Um, this one looks like it is a newer house here. It looks like it's very well taken care of. It's got a pool there as well. So um, that is one example of a house there. This one here is way above the median price point. It's $2.4 million, but um, let's see. Let's see a little bit about it. Why is it $2.4 million? It's so got 1.13 acres. It's got four beds, three and a half baths, 5,300 square feet. So it's a lot of house. This is a lot of house here. It looks very nice though. But tell me, would you spend $2.4 million on this house? I mean, I know we're not looking at it in person, but it is right here on the river. And I bet you that is um, the majority of the value of this house right here. And the fact that it looks like it has this little casita as well. So, oh, and it's got its own little pool area, bunk beds. It looks like a very nice, a uh, very nice house here with lots of space for entertaining guests and family members um, and all that fun stuff. But there, that is kind of that view of a couple of homes. I don't think they're too indicative of the typical home in Marion, but they are a couple of homes that are for sale in the area. So um, it is ranked number 11 in the entire state of Texas as the best suburb to buy a house in. Uh, ranked number 35 out of just over 1,000 for the best places to buy a house and number 99 um, with the lowest cost of living in Texas. So ranked very high in all of those categories, which is very interesting to see. Um, doesn't, again, have a ranking for the crime and safety. Here's a little bit about the residents. I know there's a ton more information there for you to see, but the median household income for a family um, and McQueenie is $93,750. So this is the highest we've seen. It's actually way above the national average there. Um, I bet a lot of the folks who live in, here in McQueenie work elsewhere um, to bring in those incomes. But yeah, that is like uh, McQueenie, uh, which is the uh, number two spot on our list. So what is the number one spot on our list? Well, let's go take a look. The number one spot on our list here is actually Von Orme, which is on the complete opposite side of San Antonio from where we've been looking at. So where exactly is this? It is this little town, this little suburb on the southwest side of San Antonio. As you can see, Von Orme is this little spot down here. We've been looking at Seguin way over here on the northeast side. You can see Marion, there's Kirby. Uh, McQueenie was right there. So all those other areas are on the northeast side of town, but Von Orme here is on the far southwest side of town. Now, if you're looking to get to San Antonio, like the downtown San Antonio area, it's probably about a 30 minute drive or so. So it's not very far, even though it looks like it's far. But again, Von Orme is kind of a small area um, just over here on the southwest side of town. Now let's take a look at the overall grade. It is the lowest rated according to niche.com with a overall grade of a C. Uh, it does have an A for the cost of living as well as an A minus for weather. Uh, the weather here is not gonna be too much different than all of the other areas, um, but you can see some of the other grades it's been getting as well from niche.com. Now the population here is just over a thousand people. The median home value is the lowest we've seen on the list. It's 66,600. Now Von Orme, uh, it has been growing a little bit from what I've been seeing. It hasn't been growing exponentially. It's just as the home builders are running out of areas to build homes in San Antonio, they've been moving towards Von Orme a little bit. So there are some new construction homes out here, more on the outskirts of Von Orme, but there are some nearby. Um, you can see here too that you know 76% of people own their home here in Von Orme and the median rent is uh, very low at $767. Um, I don't think there's been a whole lot of stuff out here in Von Orme specifically. Uh, it's been a while since I've been out there, but I know they didn't have a whole lot. Um, so you do have to travel to San Antonio for a lot of stuff from my understanding, um, but it is a good place um, depending on what you're looking for. Um, you can see here that three of these homes that are you know, being advertised in this section are uh, manufactured homes, which um, they have some renderings. Um, so I won't click onto those just because they're renderings of new new homes there, but um, some of the rankings from niche.com, it is ranked very high for the suburb with the lowest cost of living. It is uh, number one on our list for the San Antonio area. Um, and as we're talking about it, here are the other rankings as well. Again, this one doesn't have really 
much of a ranking for crime and safety. Here's a little overview of some of the residents. And then the median household income here is $47,750. So it is well below the national average there. And again, there's not a whole lot of jobs people here typically are gonna have to travel to San Antonio for work, or maybe they have like a farmer ranch nearby. All right, y'all, there you have it. That is the top five most affordable suburbs here in the San Antonio, Texas area. I hope you found that useful. Um, some of these suburbs, again, aren't quite places that people most desire, but they are in the area and people do live in those areas. So if you are looking to move to San Antonio, and you are interested in any of these areas or have questions about any of these areas, please do not hesitate to give me a phone call, shoot me over a text, send me an email, just get in touch with me so I can help get those questions answered for you as well as help you and your family make a smooth move to San Antonio, Texas. Now, if you are looking to dive deeper into the cost of living in San Antonio, Texas as a whole, I've got an entire video dedicated to going over the cost of living so you would know uh, kind of roughly what it costs uh, for a majority of the expenses you may experience as a homeowner and just living in San Antonio in general. So make sure to check that video out. But with that, if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and tap that bell icon so that you'll be the first to learn about the current market here in San Antonio, Texas. And with that, I hope you have an incredible day and I can't wait to talk to you soon.